Prices at McDougal Terrace is only getting worse. Now nearly 300 people have evacuated due to carbon monoxide problems. Today, city and county leaders announced different steps they're taking to help these families during this difficult time. CBS 17's Crystal Price is live at Housing Authority with what assistance these families can expect. Well, different efforts are underway to help these families in the short term, but as I learned today, long-term solutions are still up in the air. Uh, our hearts go out to the residents who have been relocated from McDougal Terrace. Durham Mayor Steve Schul acknowledged the crisis that hundreds of families are going through as they've been displaced for 10 days now. For 40 years, our community has failed these people and the people that lived in these this housing community and others before them. Schul says city, county, and state officials are working on short-term solutions. For instance, he says he and Congressman David Price are working with HUD to get emergency capital funding that will help residents with relocation needs. This volunteer effort, while important, can't do nearly the whole job. We need government to step up. But as far as when these families at McDougal Terrace can see their homes renovated, that's still unknown. Schul says even with the $95 million bond, McDougal Terrace will not be the first housing complex to be renovated. McDougal is very large and would take a lot of money to redevelop. Also, as inspections continue, right now it's unknown exactly what the renovations will entail and how much it will all cost. And the Durham Housing Authority loses money every day the longer these families are in hotels. Today, McDougal Terrace resident Ashley Kennedy thanked the community for their donations and support. But she says even when they do come home, the families will still need the community's help. I want you guys to remember us after this, after this happens. Come back to our community once the cameras are gone. Mm -hmm. Stand with our community because our community, we will come home. And again, it's been 10 days since these families have been displaced and still no word on when they can return home. Reporting live in Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News.